Welcome to the video from the digitallife.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 19608 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And I'm running this here on a virtual machine on my Surface Laptop 2. And I've also installed it on a couple of other machines as well because there's actually uh, a difference between a couple of the uh, devices, which I'll talk about in a sec. So, what's new in this build? Well, actually, there's only one major change, and the reason why I'm showing it from the virtual machine and not on my Surface Go is because the Surface Go hasn't got the change, and this has. It's because this new default app experience with the search is only rolling out for 50% of Windows Insiders, so there's a chance that you won't get it, and it turns out that one of my machines has and one hasn't, so this is the machine that's got it. And the difference here is that you can do a search. So say if you were uh, looking at what uh, applications open mp3 files you can type in mp3 you can type in mp3 and I've noticed this is quite slow this screen so you see it's doing some work on there I guess it's because there's so many file extensions I'm not sure that's probably how it's supposed to look so there you can see mp3 and it's showing that the default app for mp3 is Groove and I can change that I can look for an app or I can choose a different application so I guess you can do any type of extension. Let's just see if you type something in like photo. You might not necessarily know what the file extension is. Yeah, type in photo and doesn't do anything. You would have to put the, say, uh, JPEG or something like that. To exit JPEG. So that's the main change with this build. And it, I say it seems a bit slow to respond. I don't know whether it's my machine or a bit of a video. Um, with the Hyper-V or whatever, I'll try it on another machine. What other changes are in this build? Well, that's it really. Um, the blog post doesn't mention some changes to your phone, but that's only for Samsung devices, which I don't have, so I won't specifically go on to that one. Um, the rest of the changes are uh, fixes. So they fix sticky note, where you can move sticky note. They fix some issues with language pack installing. They fix some issues with task manager having the wrong icon. Uh, in task uh, for connect for Microsoft Edge Canary, they fix an issue with uh, snip and sketch launching in the background, and they fix some issues with arrow keys and performance updates going through the Windows Update history page. There are still some uh, known issues, uh, narrator issues, been a, a long while in that one. Uh, the documents and downloads uh, section privacy shows the wrong uh, icon. There's still issues with the battery icon when you're on the lock screen showing incorrect battery levels, like it would show it's flat when it's not. And some inc some issues with IS, IIS in configurations and quickly switching between uh, Linux distributions on WSL using the File Explorer can cause uh, a system error. So that is a feature that was introduced, the Linux integration, uh, which pops up down here. Uh, I haven't got Linux installed on this machine or the WSL 2 on this machine I have another one but if you get a little button down there you can see that on my previous video so that's all the changes in this build it's not a lot of changes it's only a week since the last change uh, 19608 this isn't of course any specific target of build it's not due out in October or anything else it's just the development version things that Microsoft are testing so thanks for watching this video you can see more on our YouTube channel you can go on the digitallifestyle.com and I'm at iStixon on Twitter